Hi all, in this video I am going to explain the important topics in circuit theory. These topics are very much useful for those who are going to prepare the competitive examination like GATE, TRP as well as TNPC. The first topic is Introduction to Components and Basic Methodology. According to the structure of atom, there are two types of charges, positive and negative charge. As we all already know, the atom consists of three particles, one is electron, second one is proton and neutron. Electron having negative charge, proton having a positive charge and neutron is a chargeless particle. Atom is always in a neutral condition. It will, if you add electron in atom, it will change to a negative ion. If you remove the electron from the atom, it will change to a positive ion. Therefore, a force of attraction exists between these positive and negative charges. Because both are opposite charges, there should be an attraction force exists between them. How to remove the attractive force? So there is a certain amount of energy is required to overcome the force and move the charges through a specific distance. All opposite charges possess a certain amount of potential energy because of separation between them. What is the difference in potential energy? The difference in potential energy is known as potential difference. So, potential difference in electrical terminology is denoted as voltage. What is voltage? Voltage is a work done per charge. So, work done against the charge and move the charge to a specific distance. That is known as voltage. What is the unit of energy? Energy unit is joule. And what is the unit of charge that is coulomb? Voltage is joule per coulomb or volts. Where energy is expressed in joules, charge in coulombs and voltage in volts. One volt is a potential difference between two points when one joule of energy is used to pass one coulomb of charge from one point to another. So these are about voltage. Next we are going to see about current. There are free electrons available in all semiconductive and conductive materials. These free electrons move at random in all direction within the structure in the absence of external pressure or voltage. See this is the conductive material consists of electrons. If you apply the, it is randomly move in all direction without applying external pressure. If you apply the voltage externally, at that time, this negative potential and this negative charges both are repelled with each other and it is attracted towards the positive charge. So this is the flow of electrons. So if a certain amount of voltage is applied across the material, all the free electrons move in one direction. All are moving one direction depending on the polarity of applied voltage. This movement of electrons from one end of the material to the another in the constitute an electric current. So one end to another end. This movement of electron that constitutes electric current. So this is denoted by I or small i. The conventional direction of current flow is op opposite to the flow of negative charges that is the electrons. Next what is current? Current is defined as the rate of flow of electrons in a conductive or semiconductive material. This is mathematically expressed as I is equal to dQ divided by dt. I is the current and Q is the charge of electron T is time. 
in tractors, one unit ampere used to measure the current denoted by A. One ampere is equal to one coulomb, coulomb per second. One coulomb is the charge carried by 6.25 into 10 to the 18 electrons. Here we are going to see an example. An ordinary 80 watt domestic ceiling fan on 230 volt supplies takes a current approximately 0.35 ampere. This means that electricity is passing through a fan at the rate of 0.35 coulomb every second. That is how many electrons are passing through a fan in every second that is 0 0.35 into 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons. That is 2.187 into 10 power 18 electrons. I simply have to write 35 ampere. Ampere is a unit of current. Other unit is coulomb per second. Next, I am going to explain the power and energy. What is energy? Energy is the capacity to do the work. Energy is nothing but stored work. Energy may exist in many forms, mechanical, chemical, electrical and so on, light energy and so on. Next, I am going to explain the power. What is power? Power is the rate of change of energy and denoted by P or P. If a certain amount of energy is used over a certain length of time, where dW is the change of energy and dT is change in time. So power is rate of change of energy dW by dT. Energy is measured in joules and Time in second, joule per second or watt. So what is one watt? One watt is the amount of power generated when one joule of energy is consumed in one second. Thus so the number of joules consumed in one second always equal to the number of watts. Amount of power less than one watt are usually expressed in fraction of watts in the field of electronics that is milliwatts and microwatts. In the electric field, kilowatt and megawatt are common units. Radio, television stations also use a large amount of power to transmit signal. These are about power and energy. Next, I am going to explain a problem regarding the charge. Consider this problem. Current waveform is given. The question is find the charge stored till 5 seconds. So what about the charge stored till 5 seconds? So what is the formula for I? I is equal to rate of change of charge. That is I is equal to dQ divided by dt. From this, what is dQ? dQ equal to I into dt. Here I am going to find out Q. So I have to apply differentiation on both sides of the equation. So I will get Q that is equal to integral I dt. 0 to 5 seconds only. Okay, this is look like an average value of charge. So how to find out the average value? We have to find out the area under this curve to find out the average value. So first of all, I am going to consider this triangle. How to find out the area? Here this is a right angle triangle and the formula is half B in the height. And next, I am going to consider the rectangle. So rectangle how to find out? That is A into B or length into 
breadth L into B. Again, this is a triangle. The same formula is used to find out the area. Up to this only I am going to find out. So it is a charge. The first one is half into. What is the base? Base is 2. And what is the height? Height is 0, 5. So 5 minus 0 that is 5. Plus here consider this rectangle. In a rectangle what is the breadth value? 5 minus 2 that is 3. What is the length value? The length is 3. And next consider the next triangle. Half into what is the base of this triangle? 5 minus 2 that is 3. And what is the height? 5 minus 3 that is 2. Here I am going to cut this. So we get the answer 5 plus 9 plus 3. So 17 volume. This is the answer for this problem. Next, I am going to explain about the formula of power. Actually, three different formulas of power is there. First one is P is equal to V into I. Unit of power is what? Multiplication of voltage into current will get a power. And then from Ohm's law, what is I? I is equal to V by R. V is equal to I R or I is equal to V by R. You have to apply this. So, P is equal to V into V by R. That is P square by R part. Then the third one is P is equal to. Instead of V, you have to substitute I into R. So, I square into R part. These three are the power formulas. So, these three formulas are applicable when the system is linear. Linear means when the system, what about the non-linear system? Fish power formula is applicable that is P is equal to V into I only because Ohm's law is applicable for linear devices. It is not applicable for non-linear devices so that P is equal to VI that is U. P is equal to VI when the system is non-linear. Next, I am going to explain about the DC power. There are two types of power in DC. One is power delivered and another one is power absorbed. Power delivered is negative and power absorbed is positive. Neither the power is positive nor it is negative. It depends upon the Direction of current flow. Here I have to consider the two cases. This is case number 1 and this is case number 2. The element I have considered here is active element. See here the current flowing towards the positive terminal. So positive absorbed. So power absorbed or positive absorbed. In this way, you have to remember this. So, this is the absorbed power. How to calculate the absorbing power or absorbed power? B into I. Multiplication of voltage into current. So, what is the power delivered in this case? That is minus PA. PD equal to minus PA. And next, you have to consider the case number 2. In a case number 2, the element considered here is active element. Here the current is entering in the negative terminal and leaving in the positive terminal. So power delivered, positive delivered or power delivered. You have to remember like this, it is easy method. So power delivered, how to calculate this? Again V into I. So, how to find out the power absorbed for this case that is equal to minus PD. Minus power delivered. 
So what is the relation between power absorbed and power delivered? Total absorbed power that is equal to total delivered power. PA is equal to minus PD or PD equal to minus PA. PD equal to V into I means how to find out PA? That is minus of V into I that is minus PD. Next I am going to explain some problems regarding power absorbed and delivered. Here find out the power delivered in the circuit. Power delivered. So how to find out the power delivered? Here see here the positive absorbed. So here power absorbed. So power absorbed, what is the formula? V into I. V is equal to 2 and I is equal to 4. So A part. How to find out the power delivered? That is minus A part. Minus power absorbed. And next, consider the problem 2. Find the total power delivered. See here, three voltage, so voltage sources and three currents are flowing here. So the first source, positive absorbed. So power absorbed. That is equal to V into I, 100 into 10. Sorry, 100 into 10. That is 1000 watt. What is the power delivered here? That is minus power absorbed. That is 1000 watt. And next for the next source. For next source, here power delivered or absorbed. Positive delivered or power delivered. Directly we get power delivered. So 80 in the 80 that is 6400 watt. That is power delivered. And next the third case, third source. Here power absorbed. Positive absorbed or power absorbed. So PA equal to 70 in the 15. So what is the answer? That is 1050 watt. What is power delivered? That is minus power absorbed or minus 1050 watts. See here, what is the total power delivered? 6400. You have to add both. That is minus 2050. 5, 3 and 4. So 4000 350 watts is total power delivered in the circuit. Thank you. Have a nice day.